There's nothing more delicious in the entire world than rotisserie chicken. Cooked over charcoal, out in the open, that is one of my favourite things. But did you know you can actually do it in your own oven at home? And I've got one of these special ovens that has a rotisserie function that you are going to love because I love it a lot. Now, it starts with some chicken. And for this dish, I'm going to do it Spanish style. So what I've done is I've got some pieces of chicken in my bowl here. I'm using small chicken, which is going to make it even more delicious and help it cook beautifully. Now, I'm going to add some ingredients that will make it delicious, of course. Some garlic, some chopped garlic makes it lovely. And you know I love plenty of garlic. And I've also got some cumin. A little tablespoon of that goes in there as well. And smoked paprika, which makes it really, really Spanish. This is paprika ahumado, which means it's smoked in the oven. Now, I'm also going to use some Lemon, and I'm going to use some lemon zest. Lemon zest is one of my favourite things. So if you've got one of these microplanes, it's just a matter of whizzing it around on here to get that lovely zest. And the zest holds all the oil and a hell of a lot of flavour as well. So once you've got all of that on there, you're just about ready to go. Now, I'm also going to add some herbs, some coriander and some spring onions. But if you've got a garden with herbs at the back, go straight out there and pick whatever you've got. They'll all be delicious for this dish. In they go. Now, to add some more lemon flavour, I'm using some lemon juice. So a squeeze of lemon juice on the top of it like this, and I'll use a whole lemon. That will make it even more delicious. A little bit of acid in there gives it some zing, and we love that. Now, we've got some meat here, which is chicken, and we know that salt loves meat and meat loves salt. So plenty of salt on the outside there, and we mix it all together. A little glug of extra virgin olive oil, just to make sure everything's nicely lubricated, and some pepper. Now, this is a delicious way to cook chicken. It goes around and around and cooks in its own juices. And once you've got it all marinated beautifully, just the smell of it cooking in the oven will bring everyone to the kitchen, which is what we love. Now, as you mix it around, you can see all of those ingredients are starting to coat the chicken. And I say it all the time, we should marinate it overnight or at least for a couple of hours. But you can see there's so much flavour on there. And this is going to be delicious. And I'm not going to waste any time at all. I'm going to get it into the oven. Now, this this is the skewer that comes with the oven. It's got some little prongs on here. A little tip is to make sure that's done up quite tightly so it doesn't move on there. And then once you've got it on there, I pop the bottom onto the board here so it holds it in place. And I like to slide a lemon over the edge and then push it all the way down, being really careful that you don't come anywhere near those sharp points. There we go. Pop it down on there and you're good to go. Now, these little pieces of chicken are really easy to load up. I just grab it like this and push it all the way through and then bend it over and then fold it down. I've got the breast with a little bit of wing on there and you grab some of the leg as well and slide it on. So it's just a matter of alternating between breast and leg so it goes together. And you can choose whatever you want. You go to your butcher or your supermarket, grab your favourite pieces of chicken and pop it onto the skewer like that. A little breast on there, flop it over like that and push it through. Now, if you want to put a little hole in the chicken before you put it on the skewer, that's OK. But I find just a little bit of force is all you need to pop it all the way down. Now the fun bit. We're going to grab some lemon and push it over the top here like that and push it all the way down. You want it nice and firm, but don't squeeze it too much. And then the little piece on the end here, slide that through, push it down into place, and then it's a matter of screwing that in so it's nice and tight. And I'm going to give you a little pro tip. Sometimes when you're cooking small pieces of meat, as it cooks, it contracts a little bit and it can spin around. What I like to do is an insurance policy. I just push a wooden skewer all the way down and into it. And what that does is it holds all those little pieces together. So as the chicken cooks and contracts, they don't spin around. OK, I've preheated my oven to 200 degrees Celsius. And what we're going to do is take this skewer over to the oven, pop the end here into the motor hole and pop the other side on the special rotisserie rack. And then I just go to the rotisserie function, set it for 200 degrees Celsius, and in about 30 minutes or so, I'll be tucking into a delicious rotisserie chicken, Spanish style. Oh, I can't wait for this one. Look at that. Is that the most succulent, juicy rotisserie chicken you've ever seen? You just need to unscrew the end here and just slide that off and it comes off easily. A little bit of lemon on the side there. This is the fun part. 
You can, if you want, put your fork down the back here and slide it all off like this. But if you're not that confident with it, just pop the fork in the middle here and take one off at a time. I'm going to live on the edge and just pull the whole thing out at once. Doesn't that look fantastic? And then it's a matter of picking it up and popping it on the plate. You can see all those bits of chicken are going to fall apart. But serving like this is going to be delicious. And on a rotisserie like that, it stays moist, juicy, tender and delicious. All we need is a little bit of herbage on the top there, some coriander, a few chive battens over there as well. And I've got some red onions that I'll put a little bit of salt in there. And I'll put a little bit of sumac in there as well. Mix it around a tiny little bit and just sprinkle it over the top there so it looks nice and delicious. That looks fantastic. A dish you'll be proud of. Beautifully cooked Spanish-style chicken on the rotisserie in my oven.